Hey everybody, it's Kevin again here at Titan, introducing the new Firefly 2.0 application. Okay, and the big changes that we've made to this application are the ability to use up to six units as well as ability to include multiple songs. So, let's get started. We're going to the Firefly application and then scan for device. And as before, we want to make sure our Bluetooth is turned on and then what we're going to do is turn on each individual device one by one. And as we notice now that every single one of these devices right, will show up on the left side of the semicircle, which means that it's not connected yet. The first thing we're going to do is teach everybody how to reprogram the name of a Firefly as well as reprogram the color of a Firefly. And by color, I don't mean this color, but I, what I mean is the color that it shows up in the application. So we'll go with Firefly 6. And we're going to just drag Firefly 6 from the left side over to the right side and drop it in you'll notice that there's a feedback loop. Once the feedback loop is finished, that means a Firefly is indeed connected. If you're using a mobile device, what you feel is a buzz. Go right, and we're gonna go right to the top right corner into the settings, and then figure out what name you wanna rename Firefly 6 to. And in this case, I don't wanna rename it. I like the name 6, right? And we'll just re uh, recolor this. We'll say maroon or we'll say purple, why not? And we'll press save an X out of it so that in the future we know that this color will be maroon or purple. Now we can debate about that later on. But if you disconnect it and go from left, right to left, you'll actually disconnect the Firefly 6. So remember that once you rename and recolor a Firefly, that individual device will recognize that Firefly always as that name and that color. So what we'll do now is connect all six devices. And we do ask you not to connect all six at once you could do it, but give the Bluetooth systems a little bit of time to kind of recuperate from each individual connection. So we're gonna go with one, two, and you'll notice actually that once I connect each one, there's actually gonna be a feedback on the Firefly. So once I connect three, the feedback loop is finished and we'll see the three bulbs here blink. Four, same thing as before. So once that feedback loop is done, you'll see it blink right here. Okay, five, and then six, so on and so forth. So once all your devices are connected, you can actually just press on the right button there to move on to the next screen. Remember that you can always go back and forth now. Going back to the front page no longer disconnects your devices. You can always go back and go back and forth to make sure that all your devices are connected. If there is a disconnect that happens on the field or while you're designing a show, you can always go back, find that device and drag it back in again. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do after this is go into manual fire mode. So, now that we've moved on to the manual fire mode, what we're gonna do is select manual fire and notice that all of the firefights will show up in green or gray. As we did in the previous application, the gray means no connection and the green means yes connection, right? So if I do unplug uh, plug one on this, you'll notice that it grays out and the same thing as I plug it back in again. Same thing as before. But the big difference now is that I'm able to ignite six items simultaneously. And how we do that is by selecting Q number one on the first Firefly and just tap on it. And what I can then do is instead of swiping to fire, I actually long press. So what I do is I hold down the fire button to load up the actual item and then press fire. And that's when you notice that the uh, Firefly will actually ignite an item. So if I wanted two items, what I then do is select one and two. And notice that I've all, always used Q1 at this time. You can always alternate if you'd like. So long press again, and then fire them off, and two goes off. But what if I wanna do all six of them at the same time? I, I wanna do all six Q1s. So all I have to do is tap on Q1. It'll select all of them for me. Long press to load them all up at the same time, and then press again, and all six will fire off. What I can then also do is be a little creative. So say I wanted uh, Q1 on item one, Q2 on item two, so on and so forth. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'll ignore number six. Long press that. And then fire it off. So you can really use your imagination with this. This purpose, and always the manual fire purpose, is to give you that safety distance to be further away from the product than you would be uh, normally. And then 
be able to select your product, right? So say I want to use uh, Q1, select a product, and I want to use limited edition by Black Cat. Same thing as before, long press to fire, long press to fire, and you would then know that you would expect about 30 seconds of effect time to be happening, right? And so now that we know that there are multiple, multiple devices and multiple ways to fire off connections, let's move on to show design because that's really the big portion of what the big changes are incorporating here. So we'll move on to create show. All right, so as before, we know how the system works, right? We're able to kind of tap and, and, and long press the fire as we did in the previous one, right? But the big one really now is how to create a show because that's what everybody's been looking forward to, to be able to create a show, a much fuller show, we'll say. So let's go forward. Go on and create show. And as before, we're going to have to select music first, right? And then the select music button, as before, is next to the Q plus button, right? So it's right in the center, middle. We're going to tap on that. It's going to bring up a import music page. Before, what it used to do is just bring up the iTunes page, but now we allow you to add in multiple songs. So this is going to be your playlist. We're going to use the plus button on the upper right hand corner to bring up the uh, music selection page. Go into songs again. I'm going to start selecting songs. Okay, second song and then third song. And what this will then do is stitch them all together again, right? So this will take a little longer than we did in the past, right? Depending on how large that song file is, but then we'll notice is that the song itself is being stitched together. And then what we usually do is press play and then press plus, right? So. We have an issue now, right? We actually can't press plus. Simply because the system does not know which uh, Firefly you want to assign the queue to. So what we have to do first is ensure that we actually select next to all devices, which Firefly you want it to go to, right? So let's go ahead. I want it to go to Firefly 1. And then we have a familiar screen again. We have all the queue counters in the bottom, and then we have all the Fireflies listed out later on. So I can then listen to the song again. Let's turn the sound down a little bit. That was a little loud. All right. And then press play. And then wherever I want the Firefly to go off, I'll just press plus again. And I'll just start adding cues as I did before. Say I want to go into Firefly 2, do the same thing. I'll press, so on and so forth, right? Remember that you can still delete by swiping upwards. And what we've actually added is a cue counter next to the Q minus button. And that what that cue counter does is show you which cues are connected, as well as enable you to add in cues not in order. So say I wanted to add in Q5 on Firefly 2. I just tap on 5 now and then move that around or 4 and move that around, so on and so forth. And as the cues get added, you'll see the actual number light up with whatever color you've assigned it to in the beginning, right? So we'll remove that. So, so on and so forth, I go to Q3 and then just start tapping away. Four, tap away. Remember, I do want to select my product, again, by pressing on the product list. Just as before, you press the play button to take a look at the product before you want to take, use it in your show. And then we're going to five, so on and so forth. It's actually really easy now to design a show. We try to make it as easy as possible. Even though we've added an extra step in, in order for you to figure out which Firefly you want to fire off of, we've tried to make and maintain the simplicity in designing a show. So once I've designed my show, and I want to take a look at all my cues at the same time, I go back to the top there and click on all devices. And that's where you can really take a look at how many cues you have and what color scheme you've created, right? So if you take a look at the bottom here, you can actually take a look at which fireflies by color are pinned onto that individual cue. So I'll give you an example. On number one, I want to do it. Uh, I want to put a cue on cue 18, two, the same thing, three, same thing. I'll move that away a little bit. For uh, same thing. So when I go to all devices, Q18 is really bunched up, right? But we can tell that because there are four little color dots right below there. And afterwards, we can finish the edit, submit the all the shows over to the Fireflies, right? And this might take a little longer than before because we have 
multiple shows to upload, and then swipe left to right to fire as we did before, or add in a variable timer if you'd like. Remember, all you gotta do is tap on that variable timer and it adds time to allow you to walk away. Also remember, you don't have to stay in connection with the show at all times. What that does allow you to do is walk away as far as possible. So we're gonna press fire now and what we'll see is the lights go off. and then so on and so forth. I didn't really plan to show up, but it kind of looks cool with the lights. Great, so that should have finalized what our bulb show was going to be, right? And then the emergency stop button is still there, but then you can actually press back and get out of the system. You can save the show, as like you did before. You can rename the show. So we'll do, uh, we'll rename this bulb, bulb, <laughs> bulb show five, press okay, get out of it, and then your show will actually show up on the bottom here, as you did before. And what we have done in the past is what I've created was a bulb show in the beginning. Uh, and we'll actually change the music to avoid some issues with licensing. But that actually brings up another good point. What if I wanna take away a song? What I do then is swipe from left, uh, right to left to delete. As you do with anything else, you just swipe from right to left and delete the song. I wanna put in another song, songs, and then Press OK. Save that, so I, wanna, I don't wanna lose that, right? And then press Finish Edit and allow the show to upload to all six units. And while it uploads, they do recommend that before and after each one of these major, larger shows that you wanna try to make, that you reset each Firefly as well as reset the application just to give yourself a clean slate. That's really a big portion of what it does because as we imprint each individual show to each Firefly, you wanna make sure that each Firefly has a clean slate to go forward with. So what we can do again is just swipe and fire. We tried to make sure that each bulb had one second to, to work with. So, that's the show, kind of, right? And remember now that we have up to six fireflies, you're able to set off 90 cues in one single show, which should be enough for a lot of you backyard users, right? And then so, as we did before, we were able to share this show if we really wanted to, just by pressing the little button right over here, right next to the save button, we got a share show button right there, right? And it creates a QR code and you can share this with via email, message, WhatsApp, so on and so forth. But you can also save the image and, and, and have that show with you no matter what updates happen in the future. I know that was a big sore spot for a lot of users. So we also noticed now that the QR code is a lot simpler, so the timing of how to acquire those QR codes will be a little quicker as well. So remember that you can always acquire new shows by pressing the import show button down there. And what we'll do is open up the camera. And what you won't want to do is turn off the actual Firefly. So uh, open up the camera that way. So that's how you would scan a show and import that new show. Remember, the import will only import the name of the song, all the cues you've used, as well as what, what products you've used with them, right? 
And so that rear, that pretty much encapsulates what the new Firefly actually does. There are a ton of new UX and UI changes that we have made that I haven't really gone over in there in this demonstration at the very least, but it's up to you to figure those out, right? Again, if you have any questions, please comment below or email us and we're very happy to kind of explain how the system uh, moves on with you. Okay? Thank you guys again. My name is Kevin Wu and any questions, just pop me an email.